Good morning. Um, today is the 19th of uh, it October. And um, for those of you who are used to me um, doing my videos super early, um, and then you guys waking up and having my um, my videos ready to listen to or watch or whatever, um, I apologize. <laughs> I guess I just I just woke up late today. I had a really um, I had a long night last night. Well, it wasn't really a long yeah it was a long night for me because normally I'm in bed by the time I I normally should have been, but um, it was really draining for me. I had a I had an experience. I guess I had I guess you can say. Um, Anyways, I, I don't really want to get into it. I, the Lord, the Lord used me to to um, say a few things that I didn't really want to say to a group of people, and um, so be it if they don't want to be my friends anymore. I just uh, I, I'm tired of making, I'm not making. I'm tired of well, yeah, I'm tired of making it personally, and I'm tired of hearing people making excuses for their sin. Um. You know, if Christ is in us, the hope of glory, and uh, the Holy we have the Holy Spirit, and and we're declaring that we're, we're, we belong to Christ and God is our Father, then then we shouldn't be um, struggling with the same sin over and 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 over all the time. I mean, God's given us the Holy Spirit to to overcome not only not only. To overcome in our in our lives, but to overcome our sin and our things that would hang us up, you know what I mean, like or disqualify us from the race. I mean, sure, it's okay to confess your sin and before one another. The Bible says, and that we're, you know, um, that we're all sinners, and but we're not all sinners. We, you know, we were sinners. We were sinners before we got before we got saved, and we were sinners um, before we knew the Lord. But I won't confess. Uh, you'll never hear me confess out of my mouth that I'm a sinner. <laughs> uh, I might sin. I might fall short. But to confess that I'm a sinner to to a fellow a fellow believer, or even to uh, to a non-believer, that ain't gonna happen. I'll confess to God I'm a sinner. Yeah, but he's he's God. Um, I have to. I have account. I have to give an account to God. I, I, don't, I don't let people, other people, know that um, that you know it's a stumbling block. When you when you uh, it's just like a stumbling block. When you um, uh, if you're doing something that you know you shouldn't be, which you shouldn't be doing, <laughs> anyways, if you're doing it in front of other other brothers and sisters. Um, it's a stumbling block if you're doing it to the world so like it's okay so say I'm up there I'm evangelizing right <laughs> so I'm evangelizing on the corner and I got a cigarette in my mouth I'm smoking on a cigarette how's that gonna look it's gonna look ridiculous it's gonna, people are gonna say look at that guy he's what a what a weirdo what, what a uh, that guy's like some people will say he's that dude's delusional. That guy's a he, he's he, he he must be smoked out. You know what I mean? That dude's that dude's smoked out. He must have been dude, done too much drugs. Um, it's not gonna make that one person want to come when I'm holding my my need prayer sign, and, and, and they're gonna want to come receive prayer from me because I'm holding a a need prayer sign. I got a cigarette in my mouth. So of course that's why the Bible says that we have to confess our sin to one another. Right, but we don't keep doing it. You know, if you keep doing it, if you keep doing your sin, then um, at the same level that you're normally doing it at, and there's no decreasing, 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 decreasing. And I'm talking about the amount of whatever, how much you do it. Then, then there's no. There's, there's no increase. The, God can't increase. We have to, we have to decrease so God can increase. Not only in us, but in other people. So, um, I 
I'm sorry for the long pause. I just I'm I'm still trying to I'm still trying to process what happened last night. Um, I understand the whole process of what they were doing, and I understand. I totally understand everything. That, I understand, but it's the part where where I have to, where I can come beside where I can come beside a group of believers. Believers, it's a Christian based thing. Here's all the believers, and we're all coming in the door, do, 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 do. and we're all. And the leader, the leader is saying that, oh, I struggle with with unclean spirits every week. I, hi, my name's so and so, and I struggle with unclean spirits. I don't. That's. I just say. I'm just saying unclean spirits. I'm not gonna say what what it was. Hi, my name's so and so. I struggle with unclean spirits. Hi, my name's so and so. I so there's so all these people over here that are struggling. That maybe this guy here that he just came into the Lord. This guy came to the Lord maybe a week ago. This guy came to the Lord, who knows, maybe a year ago. This guy came to the Lord maybe three years ago, but he's married to this person, and and they split up. And then now this person's all jacked up because he doesn't. He's not rooted in the Lord really. He's just been relying on this person for for their peace for so long. And instead of knowing, instead of relying on God, so when they split up, this person runs and takes off and goes and goes uh, runs away from the Lord. So there's one person missing, right? So this person here, this person says, "Hi, my name's so and so, and I'm and I'm I struggle with unclean spirits." And then eventually, this person here, he's like, "Wow, well my pa my leader, he struggles with unclean spirits too." So, so maybe I could just dibble dabble in that a little bit because. Because uh, I have, because I, I struggle with with uh, I struggle with uh, uh, anger, and, and I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm, I, I'm angry, and because uh, I'm angry, and I'm not gonna go to I'm not gonna go to uh, to the to to wherever it is I'm supposed to go to this week, where I hear all this stuff, and I'm just gonna stay home, and I'm gonna watch uh, something I shouldn't be watching because this person does it. Well, we're so and so, blah 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 blah. Well, let's just pray for him. <laughs> Why would you pray for him? Well, God's not even going to listen to you because you're because because that's a demon in you that's saying let's pray for him. And you're mocking. You're what you're doing is you're mocking the Holy Spirit because let's pray for him. Why don't? How come you, the leader, doesn't stand up for righteousness? And if you're a Christian, just stop sinning. Period. Stop sinning. Take that unclean spirit. You know what I'm saying? Get rid of whatever it is that's making you unclean if it's a TV it's your phone throw the phone away just get rid of the phone get rid of the TV get rid of the movie get rid of whatever it is that's causing you or if your spouse is causing you to, to have unclean spirits then 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 remove yourself from her from her from her because because a little leaven will spoil the whole lump now what happens is everybody's everybody's now everyone's sitting around in a circle and I don't want to I don't want to say what I want to say in the flesh. My flesh wants to rise up and say something, but it's not going to. Now everyone's sitting around in a circle and they're just having a having a circle. <clears throat> right? They're all just hanging out and having a great old time. Dang it, man, it makes me mad. I am tired of people telling me. Go into a thing where I'm going for my own recovery, but I'm not hearing any. I'm not hearing any uh, any testimonies of of, uh, of of overcoming. How come every week I go? I have, I have I'm having testimonies of what God's doing in my life and how how much He's blessing me and how how um, yesterday I uh, I had my whole the whole slate clean and and and, and they. Uh, you know they they dismissed every charge every charge i was supposed to go to court yesterday and i didn't even i forgot about it i've totally forgot that i was supposed to go to court yesterday holy spirit comes calls me talks tells me he says you need to get on the phone and you need to call um call the court and find out when your court date is i was like oh man i'm like oh man i've totally forgot about my court date that you know what i mean that's something that 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 that's something that i would go to the group for because I, because I would confess that, hi, my name is Ty, and I struggle with uh, being unorganized, right? Right? Unorganization. 
you know, because I'll, I'll scribble, I'll just scribble on stuff. And, like, I mean, I'm honestly, even to this, even, look, I mean, all, here's all my stuff. I still haven't gone through all of it and, and organized it. I mean, there's, but that's not, that's not necessarily sin to have to be, to struggle with being, being unorganized. Or I struggle with, you know, I used to struggle with anger. Okay, well, I'd go to where i go and I'd say, hi, my name's, my name's Abaya and I struggle with, with anger. Well, guess what? I got delivered from anger. Um, I got delivered from anger. It was, I think, actually, it was it was because of, of a testimony that I heard. Well, partly the testimony that I heard. Yeah, it was a testimony that I heard at the same place a week before. They had testimony night, and I cast that cast a demon of anger out of me, and it came out. It literally came out because I was so aggressively casting it out of myself. I felt that thing leave me. And I, I, share, I was sharing sharing the fact that I cast... Actually, no, I cast it out in front of all these people. <laughs> all these people. I was explaining how I had an anger problem. I said, I command the spirit of anger to come out of me in Jesus' name. And, and I felt, woo, got gone, right? And everyone was like, whoa, dude, what's up with this guy? This guy's a radical. Yeah, that's what they call me all the time. Oh, you're a radical. <laughs> how long have you been... How long have you been clean off drugs, right? I'm like, are you serious, man? Who, who does that sound like? The accuser of the brethren. How long have you? How long of this? How long of this? You know what? Honestly, it doesn't matter how long. It doesn't matter how long. It does has nothing to do with mattering how long. Because Jesus says, repent, every one of you repent for the remission of your sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, right? So it doesn't say, and then... And then, uh, and then you're gonna have to remember every day that where you came from, and and, and just and just wallow around in, in your in your past, and and, uh, and don't move from glory to glory. Don't don't go lay hands on nobody because you're just not ready yet. Um, uh, and you know what? You, you know what? Don't don't even think about opening your Bible to share to share the Bible with people because who do you think you are, <laughs> right? You, you you just you're just like a day or two days clean, uh, or. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, who does that? Who quenches the Holy Spirit? It's it's definitely not God. It's definitely not the angels. It's definitely not. It's the demons. It is. It's 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 God. It's the devil, um, the accuser of our brethren. So, um, if you're struggling with sin, um, if you're struggling with sin, you know, confess it, of course, um, and. Do whatever you can to stop. If you have to get rid of it, say, say, okay, I'm gonna fast this for a day. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do this for a day. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go a whole day without doing this. Um, if it's grieving your spirit, especially if it's grieving your spirit, if it's grieving the spirit. So, for instance, if you smoke, right? If you smoke cigarettes, and okay, you might, you might slow down on the cigarettes, but so you might puff on a cigarette before you go into work, right? So you go into work and you're standing and you're standing beside your brother in work. It's maybe you're on, you're on a line on a on a uh, on a um, uh, you know where you make things and you pass it and like what do they call that whatever what you know what I'm talking about. Say here's a few brothers and you walk and, and these guys are all so say one of these guys is a brother one of these guys is a brother I'll, we'll make it the green guy the green guy's a brother and the Lord and these and these two people beside him are non-believers. You walk in. They, these people, all these people know that you're a Christian. Okay, watch this. And you walk in, hey, good morning, guys. And you're like all like happy and woohoo. Like, I mean that, right, this is what I used to do. So I'm just using myself as an example. This was just years ago. And so it's, and I, hey, good morning, guys. And literally before I had discernment, and I walk in and I would get in line with them. Man, God is so good, man. This is that, blah, 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 woo, woo, woo. And this guy right here goes, right, right away. <laughs> he sniffs. And he's like, huh? This guy's talking about Jesus? And he's like, bro, you smell like cigarettes. <laughs> and then now, now, so when he says you smell like cigarettes, now you're a demon probably because because you're because you have no discernment. You're just like you have no self control. Um, you know your wisdom, godly wisdom, because you're obviously. You know, I'm not going to get into that, but 
So now all of a sudden, this guy here heard this guy say to this to me, I'm using myself as an example, that I smelled like cigarettes. And he's like, oh man, because this guy's walking in righteousness. This guy's like, he's like, Dude, he just ruined his testimony, man. I, I feel sorry. I gotta pray for. I'm praying under my. I'm praying for this guy right now. I'm gonna start praying for him under his bed, right or whatever. And then this guy's like totally, just totally doesn't want to be a Christian now because this guy here, this guy here was was trying to trying to, to. He was he was being an example to this. He was being an example to this guy. And this guy, that's why he was. This guy's really close to him. But this guy walks in and he's like, yeah, this and that, boo, 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 boo. And this guy hasn't repented yet for his sins. He's being led to the Lord. Um, and he's really close to getting getting set free. But he hears that this guy comes in and smells like cigarettes. Right? The testimony is done. He's done. It's a done testimony. So, do you see what I'm getting at? And then this guy over here, this guy's over here, he's laughing and mocking, mocking mocking uh, this guy over here because this guy here told this guy that he smells like cigarettes and here's a Christian and now this guy's over here oh my god what is, this guy's a double he's a hypocrite you know because that's what they all that's what they all would would say most of the time oh you're they're a hypocrite you're a hypocrite so now this guy definitely doesn't want to come to the Lord because he doesn't want to be embarrassed and ashamed because why because he has he has a fear of man on his life and he doesn't fear God at all, but so, but he does fear man and man's opinion. So he definitely is not going to quit smoking. So now, guess what? Because of this man's this man's uh, uh, lack of wisdom, I guess you could call it or whatever, that came in all smoke, smoke like cigarettes and praising the Lord, which is fine. It's fine that he he's still praising the Lord in his sin, but the, his witness is what I'm saying is is done. His witness, and then now both these guys are out partying at night, laughing. And getting high and drinking or whatever the night at the bar at, at, at this guy at well, it could be me what who are you whoever because of, of what just happened today at work and now this guy the righteous guy he comes in and he he has a, he has now he's alone he has no one to witness to but guess what he's still standing he's still standing come on you guys he's still standing in righteousness He's still standing in truth. He's still standing in love. He's still standing for what he believes in, that Jesus came to set him free. Not only for, to set him free from from what? From, 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 from going to hell? That's what most people think. Yeah, he came to, to deliver you. He came to... He came to do a lot to you, for to give you salvation, deliverance, prosperity. He gave us... He came... Jesus died for all those things. And... This guy knows his identity. That's the whole thing. He knows his identity. His identity is in Christ. His identity is in Christ and Christ alone. His identity, he, he has given he's given everything to follow the Lord. He's left, he's left and forsaken all to follow God. He might have he this guy here, he might have had a house. He might have had a two-car garage, two cars, uh, two beautiful cars. He could have had he could have had a you know what I mean? He could have had a, 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 a boat. He could have had all this. And God said, give me, a, give me that. I want all of that. And, and over time, God took away the boat, took away the house, took away his marriage, took away this, took away that. But he was still standing like Job. He's still standing for truth. He's still standing for love. He's still standing for for what he believes in. And, and, and what he believes in is Jesus. And, and this guy doesn't have... This guy doesn't have a, uh, a bad testimony because this guy knows that there's no other way in. There's no other way into God through Jesus, through the door. You can't, you can't fake your way around it and jump over the gate to get in, in, into heaven. You have to go through Jesus. And going through Jesus means that we have to, we have to deny ourselves, pick up our cross, and follow Jesus. I have a sign that I made. It's right here. says then jesus answered then jesus answered said to the disciples if anyone desires to come after me let him deny himself pick up his cross and follow me we have to we have to deny ourselves pick up our crosses and follow jesus on a daily on a daily on the daily why because we have to have, be ready for the hope that is in us 
Okay? The Bible, this is what the Bible says about, um, so, so one of the guys said, oh yeah, well, it, it, okay, I'm not going to even go there. I'm, this is what I'm going to say. So, in the book of Revelation, watch, let's turn there. I was going to do my proverb of the day, but God has me doing something else so I can, so I can move, move forward. Um, so this is what the Lord says. Here, he says, in, in uh, Revelation chapter 3, verse uh, 15, I know thy works, okay, that thou art neither cold nor hot. He doesn't want us to be cold or hot. He wants us to be on fire for him. Fire. Fire. Holy Ghost, fire. He wants us to be on fire for him. If we look like, who cares what we look like? Because we're on fire. We're burning everything down in our path. Because we have the Holy Ghost. And we're burning down these false, false belief systems that are, tell, that are telling everybody it's okay to make excuses for your sin. Keep coming to our meeting. And, 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 and don't allow anybody in here to come in here and tell you that you can't sin, that you can't be set free of your sin. It's a lie from the pit of hell. We are, the Bible says in, watch. I, I'm sorry, you know, I'm not sorry for, for if, if I look excessively angry or whatever, because it is, it's a righteous anger that I have that's built up in me over time, and I'm going to get off my chest. So now watch. This is what the Bible says. Hold on. Shout from the rooftops, Bible verse. Watch this. Matthew 10, 7, 27. Matthew 10, 27 says, When I tell you in darkness that you speak in the light, right? And what you hear in the ear that preach ye upon the housetops. And fear not them which kill the body, but they're not able to kill the soul. But rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. So you know what? Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I'm going to preach, I'm gonna preach the, the message of the cross from the rooftops. I don't, give, I don't care. If, if you want to kick me out of your little meeting, and you, you know what? Here, I got something else too for you. Watch this. They will scourge in their synagogues. Bible verse. Matthew 10, 17. Watch this. Watch what it says here. It's just page right before it. <laughs> Behold, I send you forth as sheep. Right? Sheep. Okay. But the, and that was, this is before he said on the rooftops. In the midst of wolves. Who's he talking about are the wolves? He's talking about the Christians that are in churches that are wolves in sheep's clothing that are are, 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 are saying you need my program and, and, and you can't stop sinning and I, I just keep coming every week and we're going to just love on you in your sin and we're all going to just have a big sin party in the church okay now this is where this is what happened to me I said no 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 this is a lie from the pit of hell they're teaching that they're teaching that they, they said it four times last night they, in, in their study and I wanted to rise up so bad and say something there was like literally like probably 30 or 40 people in there and the Holy Spirit's like wait 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 just wait wait because I used to just I used to just I had no self control before and I just get up and I because I knew the word that's why that's a lie <laughs> you know what I mean but I, I didn't do that I would wait on the Holy Spirit and, I, and then Holy Spirit goes right at the right time. He goes, okay, now open your Bible, and I want you to read what I show you right away. Stand up. <laughs> I'm serious, man. So I open my Bible to this right here. And I, I said, behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. Because that's what was happening to me when I went in there to help. For the meeting they didn't want my help 
because they, they didn't want my help. They were there because right away they were like, because they saw that I was wearing my shirt, my, my uh, one of my evangelism shirts that's from Second Samuel twenty-two thirty-eight, I think it is, where it says, um, "I've defeated my enemies. I haven't. Tur- I don't. I haven't turned back. Um, I, wait, I've defeated my enemies. Let me see. I'll, I'll show you. I have right now. I'm just really kind of like um, excited. So, show you. I have my shirt. That's not my shirt. Second Samuel two thirty-eight. Okay, it says, um, I have pursued my enemies and I crushed them and I did not turn back till they were destroyed. So they saw that on my shirt and they were like already like, wait a minute, that's not what we teach here. <laughs> we, we don't teach that. We teach that. Just keep coming and just keep kick, pick, kick, pick, picking up your little, your little thing every week and, uh, pick up your thing every week and, and, um, it's okay, brother. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. There's, they don't teach repentance. And then the, the thing was is, they might teach repentance. I don't know that. I can't say that. But what I do know is that last night, the person that was teaching said three or four times, literally, I was counting. It was and even more. Um, so they're talking about, so they said Jesus, Jesus was led into the wilderness by the devil. I was like, oh, what? Are you kidding me? I'm like I used to think that too. That so basically they're they're accusing they're accusing they're accusing the devil they're accusing the devil and they're not taking responsibility. They don't they don't want to take responsibility. There was no there was no form of taking responsibility for your own actions. It's all about blaming the devil. The devil this. The devil that. The devil made me do it. The devil made me do it. I have a video on YouTube that where a guy says. Oops, the devil made me do it. The devil made me do it. And this and that. No, the devil didn't make you do it. You did it because you wanted to do it. And, and and you know what? You need to repent. And you need to stop. If you have the Holy Spirit, just just stop. If you if it's if it's if it's bothering you, your sin is bothering you, and the sin is bothering the Holy Spirit, then stop. Stop doing it. Why? Do you want to walk walk in sin and condemnation? The Bible says there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Why would you be a condemned? Undefeated Christian or crim, uh, condemned, defeated Christian walking around moping around all the time. Did we hear what it just read? It says that. Or actually, I'll, I'll show you what it says. I did not plan this this morning, people. I um, I was going to do the proverb of the day, uh, but I'll just um, I'm going to title this something else. Maybe just stop sinning or something like that. Um, okay, where's the scripture at? Hold on a sec. I will puke you out if you're lukewarm. Bible verse. I just read it. It's uh, Revelation 3.16. That's what we just read. Right? That was one of the first ones. He, he would rather us be lukewarm than... Okay. 3.16. So then because thou art lukewarm... Okay, wait. Uh, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Because thou sayest, I am rich, I am increased with goods, and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched, <laughs> and miserable, and poor, and blind, and naked. Um, I counsel thee to buy of me gold ris- tried, tried in the fire. See, see, we're supposed to be, I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich. Okay? Do you understand what that's saying? We have to be tried. We have the Bible says that we have to try ourselves, test ourselves. To show, the Bible says to test one another, and make sure that that they're ready for this, or ready for ministry, or ready for that. You you're not you're not going to just go. You don't don't think that you could just open, start your own ministry, and you have like all kinds of sin that you're walking in. It ain't gonna your ministry is gonna fall, or um or, or it'll be, it'll be it'll be stopped for a minute until you deal with that. You can't. God will not allow you to continue in sin. In, 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 in a, in, a uh, in, in sin, in sin that you're like you're totally in sin, um, and and be in work for him, because he will uh, he'll use you at certain times, you know, t- to reach certain people, but but he's not going to use you to um, to do whatever it is that you're intended to do, like like uh, Moses, for instance, Moses missed the promised land. Why did he miss the promised land? Because of his anger. He. Did, 
He, he missed what God's call was on his life. He missed God's call, what he want God wanted him to do because he was, a, he was afraid of man, because he, he was a stuttering, stuttering person, and he feared that man would make fun of him and mock him because of, his, because of that, and they wouldn't listen to what God was speaking through him. And then also, he had fear of man, and, uh, and, then, and then he had his anger problem. So we need to, just like, just like Jesus did, Jesus didn't get baptized and start his ministry until later in life. He was already in his 30s, I think. Um, and he had to go through all kinds of things that he had to be, you know, he had to, uh, when he was preaching to the, to the people in the synagogues and they, they fought, the parents said, where were you? He said, don't you know that I'm about my father's business? You know what I'm saying? He, he did it like, didn't you know that? You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm a child of God and, I, and I'm in here and I'm telling, telling these, these Sadducees and Pharisees, these snakes and vipers and, um, and, and, and and these people that believe that they're they're somebody because they go to a church and they have a building, you know what I'm saying? That that's is not that's not the way. I'm the way. I'm the truth. I'm the life. You got to come through me. Through you, there's no record. We don't keep record of wrongs in Christianity. We don't we don't keep record of wrongs. We don't say, oh well, that person this and this person that. We don't do that. We love, the Bible says that per, there's, that there's greater love than this to love your brother as yourself. Do you love yourself? Obviously not. If you're obviously not, if you're if you're still sinning after 20 years of serving the Lord and you still have the same sin and you're still struggling with the same sin, well, you just you just want to just like that's like that's like honestly like 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 opening up the the grave and <laughs> because what you're doing is is you're like. You, you don't. You obviously either don't believe, because the Bible says the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but it's the power of God to those who believe. So either you believe in the power of God, or you're a fool, straight up, and you're a Christian, and you're and you're just walking the walk, just because you wanna you wanna have, you need friends, and you don't have any friends, and no one likes you. I, I'm being I'm being honest with you, and you can't make friends. Because some people do that. I know people do that all the time in the church. They go to church because they want to have friends that are Christians that, that are going to you know, help them and, and, then, and then they're going to mock and mock them. And their demons mock. They'll mock and laugh at you. But you know what? The Bible says, blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake. So you know what? I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I've already shown tons of scriptures about being holy and righteous before God. And the Bible says in Romans 6, it says, Shall you continue in sin that grace may abound? Certainly not. Okay? So that certainly not means nowadays like you're cray-cray. You're cray-cray. Who do you think you are? You're, you keep remaining in your sin. You know what I mean? You're coming over here and you're and, and, and you're starting up you're starting up a group in the church, in these mega churches, and, and literally a mega church that that's worldwide and oh, we're gonna come and we're just all gonna just we're gonna just all talk about our sin and how how how, uh, how the blood of Jesus is just not enough and the grace the, the first thing that you get says uh, my grace is a, my grace is sufficient so then why don't you read that that thing and, and, and believe it believe the word of God believe if you know the Bible quit quit reading their books that they're giving you that, that they, they mass produced and they're and they're selling in the church <laughs> what a what a what a what a straight up this, this is ridiculous. They, they make a, a a book that they that they sell in the church to make everybody think that that they cannot overcome sin. They they, they want to justify everyone's sin. The whole book is about justifying your sin and how how you can't overcome. And, and there's no, the Bible says that we have overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. How do you help and bring people out of their sin by? By our testimony. By our testimony. What is your testimony today? Do you have a testimony? Can you stand in front of this in front of this thing and say, I, I used to be this and I was in and this now because of the power of God? I no longer struggle with this and I no longer struggle with that. I never struggle with this because you know what? Because I'm walking in truth. I'm walking in righteousness. Instead of in the morning and getting up and looking at porn or looking at whatever it is you're doing or smoking your cigarettes or whatever, I, I'm in the Bible now. I, I, I teach the Bible. That's why. That's how come I don't sin because I'm I'm covering myself with the, and God has me, is lifting me on wings of eagles. I'm going from glory to glory. I have the Holy Spirit. The Bible says that we receive Holy, receive the Holy Spirit, and you shall have power from on high. 
Why is the power there? Why do we have power? Not for ourselves to, to show other people that we have power, that we can, that we can, that we did it, we made it, right? And, and then now, and then now, just because you overcame your sin, don't think that that it's all over. You still gotta walk in power every day. I have a friend online. He's like seventy eight years old. He he's an old 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 guy, and he's still out he's traveling the world, casting demons out of people. Man, he 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 he's still walking the walk. He's still handling the business of the Lord. So with that being said, um, you know, don't ever allow somebody or a church. Or, or, or your pastor to tell you that you cannot overcome, that you cannot walk in righteousness and holiness and be, and, and the Bible says that we have to show ourselves approved, right? Don't allow, don't allow, and those of you who are watching this video, don't allow people in your church to be leaders that are saying, I'm struggling with, with unclean spirits. How the heck, how the heck is everybody that's coming there, right? How are these people going to be transformed when, when, when their leader is struggling with unclean spirits, their demon is mocking the guy that comes in to say that, hey man, I overcame. I don't know what, what you guys are even talking about. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, you can't talk like that here. You can't say that here at this, at this place. This is not a place to say that. Well, I'm sorry, right? I'm sorry. I, I'm in a church of God, right? Am I not, is this not a church, right? I'm here to share my testimony. Don't ever anybody allow, don't ever allow uh, I don't care who it is. I don't care who it is. If somebody comes and tells you they're Jesus, and you can't do that, then that then 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 you keep doing it because it's not Jesus. Trust me. So you know this is what this what this is what they do. So you'll get the group of people here that are all a bunch of sinners, and they're all in the church, and, and there's no power. They're not. They're all. It's like a, it's like walking into a into a uh, into an old folks home where everyone's like. Ooh, through canes and all that you just see there's no life right it's just it's like everyone's getting ready to die so that's what the church looks like that's what the church looked like last night when i was there and it was a huge beautiful church i mean multi-million dollar church whatever man god's gonna have god's gonna show he's the only reason why he's showing his mercy is because there's maybe there's one person in that whole church that's gonna that he's gonna raise up for a time a time as this to say you know and stand up for righteousness and call that church to repentance you know just because you got you have just because you have uh you know your your certificates and all this type of thing that doesn't mean that mean nothing just like my pastor told me that doesn't mean nothing you don't have the holy spirit you know you're not walking in power you know so you need to be in the word you need to you need to be in the word of god you need to uh show yourself approved you know what i mean you need to come to church you need you need to study you need to do this you need to do that you know there's what are you what are you sowing into what what are you sowing into are you sowing are you sowing into your flesh because the bible says that you'll reap reap uh the flesh if you're sowing into the spirit you're going to reap the things of the spirit you know we're supposed to have fruit on our tree that shows others how beautiful like when you walk when you walk down the street right and you say you see a tree that's got full of fruit right oh how how beautiful right in California, they have the vineyards, and you can see all the oranges and all the stuff, and it's like, wow, it's very pretty, and it's, it's very pretty, a very beautiful thing. Okay, now if you go to Arizona, and you and you go down the the, the desert, and you see a <laughs> you see a uh, you, you see a, a stick, a little branch, kind of like just hanging out right here. See the stick right here, just kind of like right there, it's just like just hanging around and just flying in the air. You don't really see that because you're just like, ah, oh, that's just a that's just a stick, right? There's nothing on it. <laughs> why, why would I watch it? Want to think that that's beautiful, right? We want to have fruit um, on our trees. So, those of you who are struggling with sin, um, I encourage you that um, that you can overcome and that you can be um, without sin. You, I, I'm saying. Um, without without being an active sin is what I'm saying. Um, and, you know, there's things that you see when see the devil. He wants to give us. Get, the Bible says when he took Jesus to be tempted, he says, "Bow down to me, and I'll give you all these things." Right? Could be fame, fortune. Uh, it just could be all kinds of stuff that you want that you want. Right? But until you're willing to say, "For you, Lord, for you, for you," I don't want. I don't want that anymore. I don't want to be praised. I don't want to be. I don't want to be honored. I don't want to be. I don't. I, I don't want a promotion. 
As a matter of fact, I want to demotion. I want to. I, I want to. I want to be demoted because I want to serve you. I want to. If it demoted is even a word, I want to. I want to serve you. I want. I, I want to. I want to work for you now. I want to do your work. You know, I can't do. I can't do other people's work for them. I can't do. I can't do. I can't do do. I can't do me. I can't do me anymore. Uh, I, I, I just. I can't do my marriage. I can't do me. I can't. I can't do nothing without you. So just here, have it all. Take it. Right. Take it all. Surrender it all to the Lord. Because when you do that, then, then God can work in you and through you. He can and he will. Definitely. Guaranteed. The Bible says to draw close to God. And what? He'll draw close to you. Submit to God. Resist the devil and he'll flee from you. It has to be in that order. You can't come to your meetings and, and, and think that talking about your problems, that the devil's going to flee. <laughs> Honestly, the devil's probably there with in there. He is there because everyone's demonized. Um, the Bible says, submit to God, bow down before God. That's what submit to him means. Submit to God and he will submit. I don't know, draw close to God and he will draw close to you. So when you go like this, then God's like, what? What the heck? Oh, what? Look at all these people that are bowing down to worshiping me. He loves to be worshiped. He's like, oh, wow. And then he sends the angels, the Holy Spirit, and then they're like, whoa, this is awesome serving the Lord. And then, and then, they're, and then they're, and then they're bowed down. And then, and then all of a sudden they're standing up, praising the Lord. Woo, praise God. Yeah, they're on fire for the Lord. That's what we have to be. We have to be on fire for God. Draw close to God. He will draw close to you. Submit to God. Resist. The, then you can resist the devil because you're submitted and you're you're submitted and you've and you're drawn and you're close to him so you're submitted and now instead of having all these chains of addiction and chains of sin and and, and, and sorrow and all this stuff that nobody wants to hear your testimony nobody wants to hear you talk about jesus because because you're not living for jesus you're you're just you're proclaiming him you're saying that you love him but but the, that's what the bible says if you say you say you love me but your actions are, are not of that of that you love me if you love god you're going to stop you're going to you're going to do everything in your power to stop sinning and, and 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 sometimes that's what he means by laying your life down and denying yourself denying the things in your life go through your house and say you know what god what what's in my house that that's that's what's in my house lord that's uh causing me to sin where am, I, where am I going in the day that's causing me to sin? Um, so, Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, anybody that's watching these videos, I'm not going to do a deliverance, but I am going to bind the demons in you right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, I pray I bind every, every unclean spirit in the name of Jesus over you right now in the name of Jesus. I bind every spirit of fear inside of you right now in the name of jesus every spirit of failure i bind you in the mighty name of jesus christ i bind every spirit of unbelief in the name of jesus right now and i bind every demon over your mind your will and your emotions right now in the name of jesus i bind every devil that's causing you not to be on fire for god that's 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 mocking every mocking spirit i bind you in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth and i bind you and you will not operate in my brother and sister you will no longer operate in their lives you will no longer mock my god you will no longer mock him the bible says that you will not mock my god god will not be mocked any longer i bind every mocking spirit in the name of jesus and i command every demon to shut up in the name of jesus right now and i and i and i and i command every demon over your mind every spirit over your mind every spirit of your, over your will and every spirit of your emotions i bind them right now so that you that way you can receive direct ministry from the lord in jesus name amen so now what you need to do is you need to go to my video that I've done on uh, on professing and, and, and how to get how to receive deliverance. There's videos on my on my YouTube channel that speak about how to how how, how what deliverance is, how to who has demons, how do you have demons, how do you cast the demons out of your how do you get the demons cast out? I have playlists on uh, once saved, always saved, and uh, do Christians have demons? Um, deliverance for all Christians. Please watch those, you guys. Those of you who are, who are who are um, who are just who can't overcome and who who are, who are dry. 
um, please watch those videos. They're very long, and because because there's a lot of material, and, and, and we're trying to dr we're trying to drive the fact that get that get that mindset out that you're a sinner. That's what it's all about is getting that mindset out, pulling it out, and putting in what what Jesus says that we can do. So, with that being said, uh, God bless and bless God, and how you bless God is by denying yourself, picking up your cross, and following Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of your faith. God bless you guys.